about to react to one of my favorite animators in the game, bruh. If y'all do not know, I've been watching Devontae for a good year or two. I don't know. I can't even put one on watching. I just, just know I've been rocking around for the longer, but we got caught putting hand sanitizer in my teacher's car. Nigga, how the fuck do you even get caught doing? Okay. Y'all know what time it is. I mean, I can go look at the clock real quick. Yeah, we finna do her dairy. I mean, they got chocolate milk in the lunchroom. Y'all trying to go check that Stop out. Stop, <laughs> nigga, pussy. So back at the start of middle school, I became associates with these two big, sloppy, pop-tart, body-built, kangaroo pouch smelling ass delinquents that used to take advantage of my easily peer pressured overly nice pre pubescent mind we're not going to use their real names we're going to call them trevor and amber they were associates not friends but associates as in i only associated myself with them for whatever reason y'all know how it goes growing up you meet somebody that you got something in common with which sparks an instant connection after spending some time with each other y'all think y'all spongebob and patrick when in reality y'all barely know each other Cause y'all ain't went through nothing. These two will always do the craziest shit and drag me in the mix through peer pressure with the magic sentence, stop being a pussy. And it always used to work on me back then because I was scared of them judging me and I didn't have a backbone to tell them no. I mean, what else can you expect from a mentally unstable 13 year old with little to no life experience? Like bro, by that point, my nuts didn't even drop. One day, we was all sitting in math class. My must be breath smelling ass teacher, Miss Turner, decides to be such a comedian that she jokes on Trevor's big ass head when she told him to come to the board. She like, whoa, 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 be careful, don't fall. I know you got a good head on your shoulders. Everybody started laughing at him. This boy Trevor was such a savage that he like, crazy you said that cuz I told your daughter the same thing last night. Everybody like, oh, no, he did it because she had a daughter two classrooms down. She got so butt hurt that she gave that boy detention after school, which makes no sense to me because how you going to punish somebody for something you started and going to expect them to just sit there and take it, you delusional heifer? Like, calm down, Betty. Just because old man Alfred ain't hitting it no more don't mean you got to take out your anger on a 13-year-old. I guess this is what began his Belmont arc because that boy Trevor took it to heart and wanted revenge. He get back to his seat. He like, you want to talk about my head? <laughs> That. I got something for you, old hag. Amber heard it and was like, yeah, we got something for you, Betty. What we got? <laughs> Bruh. Amber <laughs> was the most annoying out of the two because she was a meat grinder. Everything he said, she went with and hyped it up. Fucking groupie. Like she had less of a backbone than me. If he told her, leave a on the bed, no hesitation. If he told her, bite his finger off, no hesitation hesitation like calm down alexis texas don't reverse cowgirl him too hard he looks over to me he like we finna do her dairy you down i'm like we're gonna give her spoiled milk no numb nuts since she like her job so much we're gonna teach her a lesson he gets out a pencil and paper and slides me a note it says wait wait wait, wait. you're joking right do i look like a joke are you down <sighs> yes that's what i thought we started lunch something in my spirit just didn't feel right about this like i wasn't okay with this at all but i was more scared of how they viewed me than the repercussions of my actions after all of this would go down so fast forward 12 30 hits trevor's like y'all know what time it is i mean i can go look at the clock real quick yeah we finna do her dairy i mean they got chocolate milk in the lunch room <laughs> go check that stop out stop being a pussy <laughs> Trevor took advantage of the fact that Miss Turner never did roll call when going to lunch. So everybody gets up to go to lunch in a single file line with Miss Turner at the front leading the pack, all three of us in the back of the line. And as soon as we got out of sight of Miss Turner, we all stopped and turned back around into the class. Trevor locked the door. He tells me to stay by the door for the lookout and Amber to go get a pencil while he gets the hand sanitizer. Whole time, I am losing my mind. I only knew bad things could result from this. They get to her counter where her cup of coffee's at and he starts aggressively pouring the hand sanitizer in her coffee while Amber stirs it. Like bro wanted the bottle empty. At this point, 
I can physically feel the shoe falling out my anus because I was so scared. Next thing I know, I hear footsteps that sounded like heels aggressively walking down the hallway. I start panicking. I'm like, hey, y'all, she's coming back. Hold on. I'm almost done. I can feel the footsteps getting closer and closer. My anxiety shooting through the roof. It was so bad to the point where I was like, you know what? And hid under the desk without them noticing me. Next thing I know, run. Hey, Miss Turner chased both of them around the entire room. Mind you, this lady is 56 with back problems. Shorty ain't seen a physical therapist since Soul Train. While Damn. they were getting chased by a 56 year old with bionicle knees, my little ass was trying to make sure she won't be woo walking with Harriet Tubman. Amber and Trevor managed to make it out of the room and ran down the hallway trying to make it outside and almost did until Miss Turner stops takes off her heels, gets down like a runner, a track star. You same bolts over to Trevor and Amber and tackles them down like an NFL player. That was totally wicked. Craziest thing I seen that year. Like, bro, she may be 56, but her knees were 21. Mm -hmm. For real, she was a cold Tony. Bro, I had little time to spare, so I took advantage of this opportunity. I dumped the poison coffee in the trash, set it on the floor, tipped over to make it look like they knocked it over, Sly Coopered my way to the lunchroom and acted like I was in the bathroom the whole time. Did they drag me in later after they got Tim Tebowed? Yes. She was crazy. I really red shirt guy his shoe. <laughs> he was there with us. You can't prove that. <laughs> you gotta believe me. I'm not lying. You just tried to poison me. Why would I believe anything that come out your mouth? Miss Turner, he was literally our lookout. What you talking about? I was in the <laughs> bathroom taking a fat one. I even ran out of tissue. I I ran out of tissue. Oh, oh, I know. Go check the cameras. Yeah, go check the camera. Shut up, Amber. <laughs> Boy, this isn't the time to be framing people for something they didn't do. Plus, the school don't even have cameras yet. They're getting installed two months from now. <laughs> yeah, nigga, they ain't got Why the time, my damie? Uh, so they got sent to alternative school after this, and I ain't seen them since. Before they left, though, I was like, <laughs> imagine trying to do such blasphemy like poison the teacher. <laughs> Couldn't be me. Hey, listen. I'm gonna keep a Bro, how the hell y'all not have cameras? Devontae, how big were them damn desks for your head to hide up on them for her not to damn see your head? You know how smooth your head got to be that damn shit? 